Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra, the civil engineering simulator where you can do anything. Anything. Yes, anything. 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 I'll get you and I'll look like a bloody accident. The civil engineering simulator where your day job varies from throwing pill into a motorway to being washed away in an underground flood. Go and check out the playlist if you want to catch up on this series. But yes, last time we got to here, we found a ladder that went down. We've just been going along these underground tunnels in our train. Uh, so I think we want to head down here. But first, a massive thank you for today's sponsors, GXC. So if you, like myself, uses the Opera GX browser and are a massive fan of free games, then you should click my link below to head to GXC, where there's loads and loads of free games in a variety of different genres. Now, a game I've been slightly addictive to over the past week or so is Astro Frog. Uh, basically how it starts, you are this little frog dude spinning around a planet and you gotta, you gotta jump off at the right time. So you hit the other planet and then slowly jump your way across, avoiding all the sharp rocks or asteroids, whatever they are. And then out to the arrow and then you're on to the next level. Uh, surprisingly hard and addictive, but uh, oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Ready? Boosh. No! Damn it. It's got bouncy pads. It gets pretty crazy and a bit off. Oh, four, four way bouncing. That's what I'm all about. Ready? Boosh. Boosh. Oh, oh, look how close the rocks are on this one. Damn it. No, I went back. I went back. <laughs> You're meant to go to the end of the level, not the start. Oh, dear. I'm, I've gone into space. All right. So, got to be quick hit. No, too quick. Oh, man. This poor frog. The gravity must be insane for him to be able to stick like that. Ready? Ow. Oh, I think we made it. We made it. There's a duck or a bird. Boosh. <laughs> we did it. Frog is safe. So in my description, I've got a link to Astro Frog. I'm challenging you to try and beat it without losing a life. If you do it, let me know. I'll be very impressed. And remember, access to GXC is completely free, but you only get all the features if you use the Opera GX browser. So thank you once again to GXC for sponsoring today's video. As the frog said, goodbye. Now yeah, let's get back to today's video. And we found a screwdriver. Last time we found a screwdriver, it also accompanied the demon core which at the time i didn't know i didn't know what it was i didn't know it was a thing google demon core if you haven't already <laughs> and you'll see why it was one of my many deaths in this game so far uh, emergency outflow override in case of emergency press to lower the water level gate hold time 20 seconds okay i don't know what button it is i'm guessing the oh there you go three and four three and four idiot matt i think they've got no power so we can see out the side there's a wire heading along this Path. Over to this switchboard thing. Okay. Notice one button equals two gates. Broken. Gates one to three and button two. Okay. I'm just going to go head over this side of the room and just check there's nothing over here that I need to do in terms of gates. Ah, the infamous sewer pipe three. We found that last episode, didn't we? So we need a hand wheel to go in there so we can turn the valve. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep an eye out for that. Oh, look, there it is. There it is, under the stairs. All right, come here. All right, and before I do anything, I'm a bit worried. If I turn that on, it might start filling up this room. I feel like that's perhaps why I need to open these gates, because I'm going to fill this up with water and then panic. Uh, let's go down and have a look. All right, so that is a leak coming out the ceiling. So that is a photo. Because that needs to get repaired at some point. Oh, and that was that room we were in last time. Oh, I see. I see. See, it's all making sense. It's all linking up. All right, sod it. I'm going to twist this first and just see what happens. What's the worst that can happen here? Oh, apparently, actually nothing. I haven't noticed any changes down here. Okay, so I'm guessing these switches, depending on what color you do, is where the electricity goes, perhaps? So if we want to open gate 4, which I'm not sure if we do. Let's say it goes blue first. So it comes down to this one. That goes to red. So we've come to this one. And then we go to blue. And that goes to button 2. But over here it says broken gates 1 to 3 and button 2. So yes, yeah, so that's why we're doing gate 4. Because it's the only one that isn't broken. But button 2 is broken. So we've made that go the wrong way. So that's if it goes blue straight down. So if we changed it to red, it goes along there up to that one. And then does it come out both? It's bottom one, but also... Well, hang on. Have I done it? They're all lit up. I may have just done it. Aha! So after a bit of trial and error later, we've got a button that opens. So let's press that. And gate four will open. Uh, but I assume gate hold time, 20 seconds. We're going to have to rush down there so perhaps i'll come back and press it again because i wanted to have a little explore first just make sure i haven't missed anything you know what this game's like 
Loves hiding things. Ooh, like, look, look. Dynamite. That's got to be a photo. Why is there dynamite down here? Can we get down here? Oh, oi, oi. Look at this. Look at this. Right, we're in. We're in. Is that the strongest shape? Or is that just me? All right, I don't know what's through there. I can see some glowing green. Uh, nothing too suspicious about that. What about this way? Can we can we climb up the boxes? Yeah, look, we're in. We're into another tunnel. Oh, I don't even know. Was I meant to go this way or am I meant to go the gateway? I'm never sure what's a secret and what isn't in this game. Oh, that's quite a big hole. Yeah, but we're going to head up there because that's what you'd do as an engineer. If you saw a random naturally formed cave in the side of a sewer, you would climb through it. What the frig is that? It's like a ball sack, man. Half ball sack, half monster. All right, that's a photo. Oh, I got an achievement called Ugu. So that is Ugu, the ball sack monster. Oh, look, we can actually go up to him. Is this wise? Hello, Ugu. Your eye is very eyeish. Your teeth are very teethy. I'm surprised I'm not tripping balls here. Well, maybe I am because I'm seeing that. But yeah, let's let's head back. All right, so let's just bash this button and then leg it down to gate four. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're going in. What's that? It's a fire extinguisher. All right, we're in. Goodbye, world. Let's hope I don't need to run out and get something. This is really, really dangerous. Like, why would you do this? A gate that you know closes in 20 seconds. Why would you just come in for a little sniff around? Oh, look, what's down there? Oh god, that's a big old shoot. I can hear the gate shutting, so let's hope I don't have to go back for anything. All right, we've got a flood door. Let's open this bad boy. Oh, before we go anywhere, look at the hole in that pipe. That is a photo. Oh, look, another wheel. Hey, what the hell? Is that like a go-kart? <laughs> it's got like a motor underneath. And that's a steering wheel. Oh my god, please let me drive that. Please. I need it. All right, under here. Nothing much. Worth having a look, though. Always worth having a look in this game. Right, so we can go that way. I should probably check up first. We've got a locked fire escape. Great. Okay, we'll drop down. And we'll drop down again. Out. Should have used the ladder, probably. That way's blocked. So we'll head along here. All right, so now, next to this very shiny pipe. Ooh, where are we now? Ooh. All right, so there's a vent there and then a big old fan. And down this way, there's another fan, but it's shut. Let's reload my battery. Ah, oh, okay. We can't actually go that way. It's sealed off. Ah, oh, there's a ladder down. Okay. Oh, God. I think we can drop down into that water as well. I can see there's a broken pipe there. Take a photo. And then through this way. Oh, God. There's tunnels for days. What is going on? There's a flood door which we can open. Is it one of those self-closing ones? No, it stays open. Okay, that's good. That is good. Oh, there's the chute thing. I think we were just up the top of there through that gap. Uh, oh, we can't actually go any further. Okay. Oh, and look over there. Look at the rebar poking through. That is a dangerous wall. So, do we keep going down? I'm not sure where we're going. All right, before we get too far, I am actually going to head back just because I remembered... Oh, look, that's a photo. Do you remember we left that train? by the floodgate and I'm pretty sure it said we need to open sewer pipe 3 to get through. So I sort of want to go back to the train if I can. Yeah, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, I'm just having a sneaky look around. Look, look, look. Hatch. We found a hatch key. Ooh. So we'll remember that if we see a hatch anywhere. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that the hatch? We fa What are the odds of that? Whoa, what is this? It's like an underground bunker. Another teddy bear. I feel like everyone's like worshipping mushrooms. It's a, bit, <laughs> it's a bit weird. He's got a toilet. Oh, he's plumbed it straight into the sewer pipe. That's awesome. Fair play. <laughs> oh, here you go. So this guy says they found the blue mushrooms and they weren't toxic. In fact, he says they fixed his flu. He had the flu. Oh, there you go. Look. Look. We're opening the poo pipe. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying. All right, that is a photo, if ever I've seen one. All right, let's shut that. Let's shut that without dying. Sod it. We're just going back upstairs, but that's worrying. Where were we heading? We can't get to the go-kart. Yeah, we're just heading back upstairs, I think. All right, so was it back along here? I assume that's a photo. Yeah, look at that. How did I miss that? And the ceiling. I think that's part of it. But that is not a happy column. Oh, no, we can't get back because bloody gate four, isn't it? 
Oh, idiot, Matt. Idiot. I bet there's something good on that train. Let me know in the comments. Did I miss something awesome? But at the same time, that's what I love about this game. So, so many different options. So many different secrets, missable things. Like, I already want to come back and play this for a second time. I was looking the other day, I'm like 25 hours into this game. Still, I assume, nowhere near completing it. Every time I get close, people are like, Oh, you're not even halfway through the game in the comments. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I should probably have a look down here before we go too far. So this was that flooded bit from the very start. Oh, look, there's a photo there. Broken keypad. That's locked. That's a flood door we can't get through. All right, so now we're going back down here. The bottom of the spillway, I just fell down it. Um, we're into this room. Holy who? This is a big old room. What is this? And is that a car? There's like roads down. What the hell? All right, there's a light here. Can we go into this room? We can go into this room. We got some batteries. And we got some more stuff to read. But that's pointless because I can't use my flashlight when I'm reading a book. Should I just take a photo of it? Interesting, Interesting apparently. I think I need to try and turn the lights on. Aha. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Like, the game developers, they didn't have to do that, but they did. Oh my god, what is that? That's freaking weird. It's like a doll with no arms and legs. A limbless doll. It's not a slug. But yeah, basically that document just told us the bank was freezing their bank accounts. They're worried that the project, whatever this mysterious thing is, I think we've assumed it's some sort of bunker, like a nuclear bunker or something. Uh, but they said... It's not going to get built, even though it would be super dangerous if they didn't finish construction of whatever it is. I assume this is it still being built. So whatever did happen, it didn't get finished. They had no funding. Oh, look, we got a switch. What does that go to? Ah, oh, some sort of craney thing. Let's turn that on. So if I go up these ladders now, yeah, I assume there's a way all the way to the top. And then I can just get the crane down. Sounds good to me. Although we've got a box I need to move. This, this never goes well. All right, it's a box there. Did I see another box below me? There we go. The power of boxes has got us up to the next level. I love, like, my thinking in this game, like, compared to real life. I'm like, oh, I'm, I turned a random crane on. I'm going to climb this clearly abandoned scaffolding that could be in any condition. <laughs> a million feet in the air. But hey, here we are. We're up the top. Oh, look, we've got, we got all sorts of controls here. We've got... So we've got motors one and two. We've got emergency stop, manual up and down, auto up and down, and an unused button. So what if we turn on the motors? Hmm, that's not working at all. I think because it's got no power. So whatever I turned on below, was it actually connected to something else? Or what's this? What's this? Look, there's an on switch. Here we go. Here we go, boys. So I've turned on manual toggle. What if we go... Can we go up? Can't go up anymore. No, we can't even go down. Interesting. Oh, I didn't turn the motors on. Do you want motor one and two, or just one? Let's turn them both on. I don't really know... I don't know how these things work at all. Alright, so it's on auto down. It's sort of creaking. A little bit worried. Also, don't really know why I did this. <laughs> well, the fact there's manual toggle makes me think I need to stop it, like, halfway up or something. Is there anything above? We can actually get onto here. I wonder if it helps me go higher... Right, what I'm thinking, we shove these boxes in it, take these to the top. Oh god, the boxes didn't like that. I think I think we're good. They were going up. And then maybe we try and get on the roof, like up the top. Right, so now we grab these, plonk them there. What if we keep one in here, actually, just so I can climb out? I'm thinking if I lower it slightly, right, can I get out from here? Yes, we're out. And now if I grab this box, plonk it there... I can't quite get on. If we go a little bit lower. All right, a little bit lower means I can't get out. Balls. Okay. Maybe that's not the way to do it. We might have to rush this from the bottom. All right, okay. I think I've done this. If I hit auto up and then just leg it. So up here. Up the boxes. Come on. Then up this ladder. And then I might be able to jump on. No, not yet. I've got to keep going. Oh, I fell down. Oh, I went the wrong side. Damn it. All right, take two. All right, go, 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 go. Up the ladder. Right, don't stand on the plank this time. It broke for some reason. Ah, I'm trapped. Right, we're going... Oh, it's catching up. I thought we were going faster, but it is catching up. Right, and now jump onto the top. Nice. I hope there's I hope there's a reason for doing all this. <laughs> oh, this is as high as it goes. Oh, I thought it'd be a bit higher. We can climb this, though, and then over this. Right, now we're up in the roof rafters. 
Uh, oh god, there's so many different ways to go. Alright, so I've had a bit of an explore, and basically this button here opens this gate underneath. Can you see down there? There's a gate. Uh, again, it's on a 20 second hold, like the other ones, so we've got to be very quick. And over there, can you see there's like, there's a staircase down? So that's probably our best bet. So let's press this. And then leg it. There is like scaffolding beneath me, which I probably could use. But I'm going to try and be sensible. I'm going to try and not die this episode. Oh, balls. <laughs> Alright, sod it out. Okay, I died. Uh, I'm trying to drop down each level. Nice. Yes. Leg it. I got stuck on a ladder, but come on. Alright, it's coming down. It's coming down. That was so close. I think if I didn't fanny around with the staircase, we would have been fine. Uh, there's a ladder here. What is, where did this go? Emergency outflow override. Does that open it back up then? Oh, that opens it back up. So we can go back. I just died. Seriously. <laughs> oh, now we're back up the top again. There we go. There we go. Alright, leg it. Leg it. Who would have thought falling from that height would kill you? I don't know. Well, if we do have to go back up there, let's use the ladder. What is this place? The West Stolberg runoff discharge system. Interesting. This is a big old bowl of stuff. <laughs> Man, there is a lot going on here. And I think that's a good place to leave it, guys. Uh, yeah, if you're still enjoying the episodes, boost your like button. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and hanging containers with ivy growing on them. Bye.